Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Hey, we came back this week. Jim and Todd here with the Take a Listing Today podcast show number 195. I'm Jim and there's Todd. And over here in their luxury suite, the wonderful producer, Lisa Gray, in the house. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment, Todd. Lisa, do we have a hammer? Yes. Good, because today's show is all about nailing your next presentation. Oh. Nice. It's very good. Okay, we tied that together. Okay, I'm going to just say it's good, not very good. All right. Nice. You did, Great you lead in. Yep. Actually, I, I got a good out of her, so that's something. <laughs> but don't forget, uh, you can uh, always tune in to our show on iTunes and iHeartRadio and YouTube. You get to see Lisa's breakdowns and have her pull out the tissue to prevent the mascara uh, <laughs> leakage. Yeah, that's not good. Leakage. So today's show, nail your next listing presentation with these three pointers. So we're going to talk all about the importance of the listing presentation and what you got to do to make it work. All right. Well, with that said, let's go at it. In today's market, a successful listing presentation is more crucial than ever. It not only differentiates you from the competition, but builds trust with potential clients. The positions, this positions you as the expert that they need to navigate a complex market. Mastering your listing presentation can be the key to winning more clients and thriving in a challenging environment. In the blink of an eye, a millisecond, a flash. Nice, Lisa. <laughs> I like the animation. <laughs> Each of these takes longer than the amount of time it takes someone to form an impression of you. We say this again and again on the show. This is, of course, according to Eric Wargo at psychologicalscience.com. Yeah. <laughs> org. O-R-G. org. Not a com. In fact, right. studies indicate it takes a tenth of a second to begin to form an impression of someone you don't know. Todd, what do you think uh, people think of this show in a tenth of a second? What are they, What's going through their heads? Well, if you're somebody like Roy, you like the silliness because he knows we always drop the hammer and get some content. Um, true, true. But a, a part of them might, might tune in and tune out. But I wanted to say something here as we're going through this topic. I think this, and, and we beat it to death, but hopefully we beat it so strong that realtors will implement it. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a topic I like to come circle around to like every three months or so, because huge. I know there's always possibly a new audience, somebody and you hit, you need to hear it over and over. And right now in this market, you really have to work on this. Right. And and as Jim's going down this, I wrote down three things, prospecting, presentation to close. And we used to at all of our seminars say, OK, w which one of these is most important? And they say all different ones. But here's the answer, right? Uh, the accelerated answer is your listing presentation. Yeah. And that costs you no money, by the way. So imagine if you took two days, two weeks, made sure your pauses, tonality, voice inflection. So if you're great at that, that's going to help you do the thing nobody wants to do, which is prospect. You'll get excited to go out and share mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. because your confidence level is that high. And right. that's, the, that's the number one reason people fail is prospecting. Right. And then a, clo a close, as we've always said, is a natural ending to a great presentation. Well, and in this market, leads are more expensive than ever before. Meaning mm -hmm. if you are direct mail marketing, digital marketing, you've got a newsletter, you're out, whatever it is you're doing, you're on a park bench, whatever, whatever money you're spending, it's that much harder to earn that inbound phone call where you now have to prepare a listing presentation. So the last thing you want to do is not get that listing. <laughs> I mean, you really want to get that listing. Yes, it's costing exactly. you more than ever. Absolutely. So that it's not enough to get those inbound calls. You got to take right. it all the way home. Don't let something small, something that you missed or didn't prepare enough for in that presentation take you down. That'd be very sad. And that is very sad yeah. and frustrating. So with all that in mind, be aware that a potential client may start to make up their mind about hiring you while you're still standing on the doorstep. <laughs> Shut the door in your face. So don't well, be picking your nose because they're watching you on the video camera <laughs> at the front door. And um, uh, yeah. yeah, yes. And, and it's exactly what you said. First impressions. And, and the first impression could be the pre-listing package. The first impression could be that initial phone call that you had. with. It wasn't them. that and funny, the, Lisa. What? <laughs> Todd, Jeez. we're having breakdown um, number three of the day, I believe. 
that tells me she's back on her medication. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the sauce, one or the other. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's kind of early for that, isn't it? Well, you know, when, when you're in that situation, it's, it's it's not really. I mean, it's afternoon somewhere. Right, right. It's a 50-50. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, it just oh. struck me funny. I okay. oh, love it. Okay. Wow. Get us back on track. All right. So moving on, maybe we could turn off Lisa's microphone so she doesn't uh, distract everybody. Uh, right. Here are some tips to make sure you master your listing presentation and win that client. Tip number one, send a pre-listing <coughs> packet. I couldn't find any statistics about how many listing agents send a pre-listing presentation packet to homeowners. I hope you will be among those who do. The pre-listing packet is part of your curb appeal, so make it as compelling as possible for a complete list. And what is crucial to include in your pre-listing packet? Listen to last week's podcast. Exactly. Exactly. That was and the last week week's before, show. And the week before. Couple weeks before. <laughs> and the week before. I meant to fix that. <laughs> oh, boy. Hit the button again. Now look. Yep. <laughs> last week's show was about referrals at the closing table. It had nothing to do with the listing packet. <laughs> oh, it was the one before the- <laughs> Oh man! Oh, it's a good thing there's three typing. of us. It's, it's, a, it's a good thing there's three of us because normally two I was people have a little background show. music here gonna, while we wait for Lisa to compose right. herself. I was going to have this right. show go first when we were recording, but, but and then we flipped it around. Jim, I'd like to answer. I'd like to answer one of the questions uh, when you said I couldn't find any stats on how many agents do this. <laughs> yeah, I really That's, couldn't. I couldn't find any at all. But so so that's such a powerful thing. I think every single real estate agent knows to do that. But but my guess and what I've seen and and who I've met out here, um, ninety <laughs> seventy percent don't do that because life is electronic. So they right right they electronically send you some stuff or some listings or some. But no one's doing the pre listing packet. But right. that that will set you apart. Those of you that are listening and watching right now because right. it puts it puts a client at ease. They can start to get a feel for okay. Here, uh, so it, it's, it's just magic well, because everyone's doing it. Right, and it's tangible. I mean, right. that's why direct mail is still so incredibly powerful and has such a high ROI uh, because mm-hmm. it's tangible. It's mm-hmm. in your hands right. versus a digital ad that you're seeing on the computer screen that is gone in a couple seconds or an email that you look at on the screen and then you delete. None of those things. You, you don't have all that tactile, you know, all the different sensations of um, being able to touch, feel, hold it, bring it in the house, keep it, that kind of thing. So a pre-listing packet, it's the same thing. You send it in the mail. Now you've got something in your hands that somebody is going to sit down in a chair, go over, take their time. And every second of that, looking at your branding, there's psychology behind that as well. So it's, oh my gosh, anytime you can get somebody to pick up something and touch it and hold it. I mean, isn't that the car salesman? trick is to get you in that car driving get you, that get car you in the car to get your right. butt in the seat yeah yep. right so it's the same type of thing you've got to get something in their hands that they're touching this is well worth it especially right now in this market every little advantage that you have boy don't you dare squander and you should send it out before the listing presentation right like oh, yeah, a absolutely. few days before absolutely right. you create that or, gap enough of a gap so that it does get there or when you're out, just drop it off like yeah, people that, drop pa- totally. uh, you know, packages at the front door. Exactly. No, think about that. The drop off is fantastic because now it's another you're getting in front of them a second time. So now that means when you go to the listing presentation, they've already met you. This is now a warm invite into the house because mm-hmm. they met you when you dropped off the packet. Yep, so very true. they know you better than anybody else they're meeting with because they're going to meet them for the first time. They're meeting you for the second time. So, Todd, that's a fantastic idea. Don't put it in the mail. Drop it off. Yeah. Good job, Magic. Todd. Thank you. Thank you. One out of four shows. Every <laughs> I'm going to have a, have a nice idea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Step number two, prepare to impress at the listing presentation. The groundwork begins when you get that first phone call from a homeowner requesting to meet with you. Ask the important questions now so that you are better prepared during the actual listing presentation. NAR suggests the following questions. Number one, may I ask why you're selling? Is there a date by which you need to be out of your current home? How long have you owned the home? Have you remodeled or renovated your home? Any repairs? 
Is this carpet really from the 1970s? <laughs> hmm. Is anyone else on the title? Is it possible he or she could be present when we meet? How did you hear about me? I mean, these probably seem like such basic questions, but how often do you think realtors are asking all of these questions? I don't think they are. Right. Sometimes the most obvious right. basic information, you it just it bloop, flips right out of your brain. You don't think about it. And the biggie on here, they're all good, but the biggie to me is how'd you hear about me? You always mm -hmm. need to be asking that question. Yep. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're throwing marketing Speed dollars up. this way, that way, and you have no idea what's working, what isn't. Oh, exactly. oh, here's a great note. An easy way to get this complete list of questions, because I know you weren't busy down scribbling all this down, is to download the transcript of this podcast, which is on our YouTube channel. Yes. Wonderful. And then you can watch us. Oh, that's not watch wonderful. us. OK. <laughs> when asking <laughs> these questions. At, it, it, well, it is wonderful at times, but you have to pick those times. The Christmas yeah. show when you guys are in that nice country club with the big tree. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's with our nice, jackets That's a nice on. show to watch. Yeah. So once a year, we have a good show. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Halloween, because there's weird stuff. Halloween's a good show. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So when you're asking these questions, take notes of each answer so you don't repeat the questions during the listening presentation. Or else they're going to think that you're not paying attention. The answers will build the foundation of your presentation. This means every presentation you do should be unique because it fits the individuals that you are presenting to. It will not go unnoticed. Ooh. Especially the whys. When you know the why, uh, I mean, that needs to be peppered through your whole presentation. I thought you said the wives. <laughs> Oh, the wives, wives are paying oh attention. <laughs> the yeah, why? The, the why? Wives. Why are they selling? Okay. Because uh, but, people will will plan to do something, then they'll get skittish about doing that, and they can come up with a bunch of excuses and roadblocks along the way. Right. So if you keep them focused on their why, you keep moving them forward through the process. Yes, and I love the fact that this is a series of questions because. We know this, but how many people do it? I think a lot of real estate agents get so excited and want to get there and verbally vomit. <laughs> <laughs> verbally um, vomit. <laughs> all, all of the stuff they know, as opposed to asking questions, right. which is put, putting the seller in control and the seller is going to lead you down the path so you know what challenges you have to overcome or not. So it's a beautiful. Well, and and you're and you're kind of screwed when you do that too because you you vomit all your verbs out as you say right. verbally, and then. They come back with their objections. And guess what? Everything you could have used to overcome yes. that objection, you've already spit out. And now it's not going to be as powerful as you swing back around to you're say the backwards. same. Yeah, you've just said that earlier. Now you're going to try and use it to overcome an objection. And it's not going to work. It's going to they're going to deflect it because they already heard you say it a while ago. So you need to know <coughs> where their mind is at, what their whys are before you open your mouth get that information out and what they're looking for and what what would be a deal breaker as far as the agent they want to hire what are the keys to the agent they want to hire what exactly are they looking for and make sure you're that person and then when you start speaking you only speak about those very things that they just laid out for you and you just walk right down that path to, to the close this whole show is going backwards we had poop last week now we got vomit <laughs> All right. We're doing great. We're really doing great. Your yeah. last step should be to take a drive by the home that you'll be listing. Take note of its curb appeal or lack thereof. The neighborhood and any of the many, many, many amenities that will positively or negatively impact the value. You can discuss some points from these notes during your presentations with solutions to overcome any obstacles. This will demonstrate that you have really put effort into the presentation and that you truly care about their outcome and success. And that's really the whole key, right? Um, Floyd told us caring about what others care about is what caring about is all about. So you have to show some empathy, asking the questions in a very sincere manner, mm -hmm. because, you know, if, 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 if they're not qualified, don't take the listing. It's going to be a waste of time of you and them. So, mm -hmm. so this will demonstrate that. I love it. All right. Step number three, you have arrived out in front of the house the day of the listing presentation. The first thing to do is take a deep breath. <sighs> uh, <like that. laughs> and then exhale. And then exhale so you don't turn blue. Walk up right. to the door, then stretch and shake your hands to get the jitters <laughs> out. So you're stretching at the front door. 
Are we bringing in like your, a Pilates mat with you when you go up there? Right, right. A Pilates oh my, mat, oh my your God, yoga watching. pants, your, your yoga stretches. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> As they're watching you through the ring camera. Yeah, they're watching. Oh, they're like, who is this knucklehead yeah. out here? Is, he, is it Richard Simmons out here doing stretches? And There's our realtor. Um, uh, let's just not answer. We're not home this time. Okay, something weird's going on. Maybe there's something wrong with him. Maybe if we ignore him, he'll go away. Right. Um, all right. Shake your hands to get the jitters out. So not the hand of the homeowner. Shake your own hand. Right. Take right, a deep right. breath. So now we've got two deep breaths. Don't forget to smile. Have we rung the doorbell yet? Where, where is that no, coming in? No. Yes, and then run. <laughs> run. It's okay. called knock and duck. Yeah, knock and duck. <laughs> you may have heard from more experienced agents that people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. It's a challenge to achieve all three of those in the time it takes to give a listing presentation, especially for agents who are new to the industry and lack the confidence that experience brings. Therefore, be genuine. People can tell in a heartbeat if you're faking it. You can't force rapport, claims the president of the RAIN group, Mike Schultz. All right. During the presentation, listen carefully and nod to acknowledge that you're listening. <laughs> when you haven't fallen asleep. Well, Take, in other words, when you're there, really stay present. You know, some people right. are there looking at their phones. Some people are, are taking calls with other clients, which, you know, that happened this morning. Oh, I can't talk right now. I'm with the client. I'm thinking, well, why did you pick up the phone if you're with the client? <laughs> I know. That happens you, a lot, actually, to us. <laughs> I know. That's yes, so it, bizarre. It, it is. That's so bizarre. There's got to be All another right. way to do that. I've had that happen in a real retail store where I'm waiting in line. I'm next oh, in wow. line. And I've waited, you know, like four people or whatever. And finally, it's my turn. And the phone rings. And they turn and get the phone. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm in line in front of the person they're just picking up the phone for, right? Because that phone just rang. Yeah. And then exactly. they keep picking up the phone, and it's like you're putting the phone calls ahead of the people standing in the line. That's why yeah. you just call them instead of go there in person. I, you <laughs> yeah. know, that would be a quicker service. I agree. Apparently. Point taken. Yeah. Apparently. All right. So take some notes and refer to them as you speak to them to let them know that you have heard them and understand them. All right. Remember, the more prepared you are beforehand, the easier and more pleasant this experience will be for you and everyone else. Yes. I love the it. End. I love it. The end. <laughs> the end. Was that a but, fairy tale you just told us? <laughs> so here's the cool thing, though. I think that every single real estate agent knows about this topic, but I would guess that less than 90% do it because they get lazy. They figure, oh, I've already got some rapport, a couple phone calls, right, I've right. emailed them some houses. But the strong agents will do this because that's going to tighten things up. And it's going to show that you care and you've done some homework. So this hey, is a great topic. Here's what I say. Do all this. Try it. Try it all. Yep. Do it for your next listing presentation. Try everything we've talked about and see what happens. Is it worthwhile or not? I mean, no. if one or two things from this, what we've discussed today, <clears throat> make that little bit of difference where the client goes with you, then it is well worth it. It is well worth it. I, this, again, seems like a simple subject. And there are probably agents at the beginning of this podcast that tuned out when they, oh, listing presentation, I know that, backward and forward. Really, do you get every listing that you go to, every presentation you go to, do you do you, um, contract with every one of those clients every time? Right. No. Not, a, not everybody does it every time. <clears throat> no, no. So then I guess there's probably room. For you for to learn and grow. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, great I topic. This was worth it today. Even though we had well, a couple breakdowns, we went sideways a few times. <laughs> we oh got to gosh. the end. But now for the fun part of the show. Ah, there's more fun to have here. Do we have anybody yes. to call or should we just get no, the old no one stack? Had, I mean, we could randomly call someone out of my phone, but they're not realtors. So that wouldn't really oh, make sense. All right. Well, I don't know who's That's, in your phone. That might be fun. <laughs> Who do you got in there? Yeah. <laughs> Who do you got yeah. in there? Do tell, do tell. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, look at this. Uh, Prospectsplus.com has given us some Ooh. postcards here, some uh, of their customers who are mailing things out this week. These are the attractive jumbo size cards. Ooh. And uh, who wants to pick a card here, Todd? Second one where your hand is right there. The second one from your, where your right hand. hand. Is. No, no, the hand he just raised. Oh, okay. this hand? The one that's in Your my right lap? Right hand. Grab the <laughs> second one? card. Grab the second card from that the end right there. Here? Second hand. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. 
208. <laughs> 866-1487. Let's see what happens. Never mind that singing in the background. <laughs> Real people. Hello, this is Michael. Hey, Michael, this is uh, Jim and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast calling with ProspectsPlus.com. I believe they do postcards for you. Hey. Yeah, so uh, I've got a postcard in my hands here behind the real estate scenes, which is kind of a catchy postcard. Did, did you do that one? I actually don't know. My marketing team kind of comes up with this stuff. All right. Well done. Well done. Well, they're doing a fine job because uh, it's a catchy card. It's got pictures of houses on the back. Uh, do you know anything about how your marketing works or is that just all the marketing team that takes care of that? You know, I give the creative direction and the ideas and they implement it. So mm. we have systems in place to nurture all of our listings, our buyers and certain geographics. Wow. So you're doing a lot. That's wonderful. Yeah. 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 We do a lot. Very impressive. Very impressive. Thank you. All right. So that's your idea to do this uh, Meet Home Found. So that's the name of your uh, your team? Yeah, so the name of my company is Home Found Group. We're here in Boise, and we're also um, brokered in Minnesota. Oh, great. Um, on that note, share share your phone number and what cities you sell real estate in, because this show goes out to about 60,000 plus people, and referrals <laughs> have happened before. I love that. Um, you said my phone number. What was the other one? Where are you um, located? Yes, city-wise, where you sell real estate. Oh. Uh, so yeah. So we service the larger Boise metro area, which currently has eight $1 billion projects happening. Um, we have 24% growth in the Boise metro in comparison to 6% in the rest of the nation. I know y'all can feel it, but our city is changing whether you like it or not. The question is, how are you going to take advantage of it? So if you'd like to talk to somebody about somebody who's doing that right now, my name is Michael Miller. My phone number is 208-866-1487. Wonderful. Awesome. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Well, thank you, Michael. And uh, Prospects Plus appreciate your business. And we'd love to give you the chance to win a $100 gift card. Good for about anything on ProspectsPlus.com. If you are Ooh. game to answer a simple podcast trivia question. Okay. Let's do it. Let's right. do it. I'll read you, you the question this. and three <laughs> possible answers. Just give me the right answer. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. All right. Here's your question. The Rice Krispies gang, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, oh, originally boy. had a fourth character named what? what? <laughs> Was it A, Pow, B, Wham, or C, Slap? Now, this doesn't seem like a very fair question to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel like childhood memories starting to surface. Um, uh, can you repeat the three options real fast? <laughs> yes, sir. Was it pow, wham, or slap? You know, I'm going to go with pow. I like pow as well. Yeah, I was thinking that too. All right, going with pow. Let's see pow. Yay! Yeah. Hey, that is correct. Oh. I don't know why they didn't want pow as the fourth. He kind of got uh, ripped off there. But Todd, what does Michael win today? Michael, uh, Lisa is going to email you a gift card for just about anything on Prospects Plus website. And we're going to send you some swag from the Take a Listing Today podcast. So thanks for being a guest. And um, your marketing looks great, by the way. Keep it up. Keep the systems up. Thank you, guys. You guys are great supporting my business. We appreciate it. This is the best phone call I've had all day. Oh, that's oh. wonderful. <laughs> Have a awesome. great day. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Bye-bye. Thanks. Take care. Wow, we're the best thing to happen to him all day. Well, he's our best. That makes you feel good. In how many years? Most people hang up on us. Like, that guy oh. had his ele elevator pitch all set. You know, yeah. when oh, he, he started talking about Boise, I'm like, man, he, he is was, he on it. Sharp. I, I yeah. feel like I, I feel like I want to move to Boise now. I know. I know. I know right? That's it. Huh. I'm going home tonight. Tongue her. Pack it up. <laughs> no, I thought that was very interesting. He is. I mean, that's that's what excites people. You know, when you're that right. passionate and excited about where you live, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, and if you tune in to last week's show, you know you can get some moving boxes from your agents. So 
that would be uh, handy and some toilet right. paper. So, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. We're not going to mention what item number two was, but no. Yes, it all. I guess it all goes back to toilet paper for some reason. <laughs> um, but besides that, so there we go. We uh, discussed three pointers to help you nail your listing presentation on today's show. Anything we missed on that, Lisa? No, I think it's a wonderful show. And uh, go back, re-listen, write some notes, or get the transcript off our YouTube channel. It's uh, there's a lot of great pointers. That's some good technology. We should just start doing that. Transcripts? No, you can always do that. Oh, all right. That's a YouTube thing. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Okay. The more you know. All right. Well, <laughs> we'll be back again next week. Thank you for joining us and see you later. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.